the next tag we're going to go over is the UI fragment tag. Um, using what we know from the rendered attribute and the H output tag and the UI repeat tag, um, you can have the tag, you know, show up, be displayed depending on the condition inside your rendered attribute. Um, same thing with UI repeat. Um, I have the test app set up the same way um, and in the index control named and request scoped with an empty array list and a boolean defaulted to false with the getters and setters. So what if we wanted to render out um, several XHTML components or divs depending on a condition? Um, again, these things, you know, render out anything inside these tags and this renders out depending on the single tag, right? Um, but what I mean by several UI components is that if we had, say, a bunch of divs here and I'm just going to duplicate the same amount of divs here, right? If I only wanted the top one to display or the bottom to display depending on a on a condition, what we can use is a UI fragment. UI fragment, all it is, is a section of code that you can apply the rendered attribute to. So for example, if I put rendered equals and I bind it to the same thing that I have the above except not, uh, you know, the, the tr true condition, not, not the uh, negative condition, um, I'm going to put some check close that off and inside the top UI fragment I'm going to put top or rather the first div that I have in there starts with top so we'll see the difference um, if I save this and I open the browser you'll notice that the top uh, text to render is the H output text And this UI repeat is going to display nothing because I have a, this is an empty array list. This is just to show the code. Um, this UI fragment got completely skipped because it's rendered only if the index control dot sum check boolean is true. And since I have it to false, it's not going to get rendered up. And the bottom div is always going to get rendered because that's just plain uh, div in HTML with a UI repeat that again goes into an empty list. So the bottom is displayed here and the top is hidden. If I change this check, uh, the rendered check to not index control some check, I save it and deploy it, refresh this page, then the top part of the div is going to be shown. Now, that's basically it um, for the UI fragment rendered.